Good morning. Uh, today I just want to talk to you a little bit about positive mindset. Um, it seems to be one uh, topic that is basically just going to come uh, into prospect for me uh, quite recently uh, for this week. Uh, I think that, you know, we all deserve to have somebody who can kind of explain to us what a positive mindset actually means. Now, for those that are meeting me for the first time, I am Mokisi Benedict Bekere. I am the managing director of a Francistown Botswana based company, which actually has interests in uh, ICT or what other people would actually define as information technologies or uh, with a specific focus uh, into the educational sector. Uh, this meaning that I work together with schools, I work together with uh, colleges, I work together with uh, the community. I work with a myriad number of, uh, of people to actually realize this, this vision that I have. Now, um, the key objective of this uh, presentation for today is that, like as I mentioned, I would like to talk to you about m positive mindset. And positive mindset obviously being the key in terms of what gives you what I like to define as a positive outcome. Now, uh, friends, I, I, I'm going to share with you uh, today uh, a story uh, of, 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 of an old friend and also a, a current client that I have in my uh, learning facility or my digital computer lab here in Francistown. Now, here goes the story. Uh, just yesterday, uh, I, I, I came face to face with, with, with one of my clients uh, whose name I'll, I'll not disclose at this point who basically kind of uh, just wanted to push very hard towards uh, learning Setswana. And, you know, as, as, as I walked into her session together with my Setswana expert teacher, I actually realized that, you know, she was really literally going beyond uh, the, the, what her mind could, could take at that point. And I sat down with her and I asked her this question and I said to her, well, you know, there is no quick fix in education. and what you are currently engaged in is a process of learning and this process of learning is, 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 is important for you to let your mindset be in a, in, a, in, a, in a state that requires it to actually acquire what is being shared with you. And she was actually amazed at this because she, for the first time, she actually found that, you know, she had actually been in, a, in other learning uh, scenarios which required her to actually have a positive mindset. And she gave a ex very good example to say that about 25 years ago, she actually had a very, very huge problem, that is financially, which required her to fly to the, to the UK, which is uh, her, a, a, a country of birth, and she actually had to use about $20,000 at that time, and obviously this meant that she had to take a flight of, of obviously the caliber of first class, and $20,000 uh, about 10 years or 20 years ago was probably a lot of money, and you know she she did that together with her daughter, each paying twenty thousand to go and see her father, who was on a deathbed. And I, I can confidently tell you that she did inform me that when she did arrive in Ireland, she actually found the father was well fit. It was just a, a chaotic panic uh, that I'd say for people who wanted her to just basically travel. But that had actually drained her financially. And you know, out of this, what she says to me is very important to learn is that. When she returned back to Botswana, uh, she was literally broke, and uh, I mean literally without any source of finance, any source of money which could assist her to actually uh, leverage or live the life that she used to live at that point. But she had to actually make a decision, and that decision is what points to what, what I'm going to define as positive mindset. She actually set a goal for herself, she said, you know what, I've got a degree in entrepreneurship, I've specialized in commerce. But here I am, why don't I actually do something that would actually leverage me to make that money as quick as I can? Now, she, what she did tell me is that she actually went ahead to, to attend one of the schools in Botswana, uh, which obviously were branched out or agency of, 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 of these uh, schools that are based in the UK, and she went on to her credit to be a certified accountant. And as I speak to you today, she owns a house which is worth, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, quite a lot of money, and She's a very well established and one of the counted, um, you know, accountants, chartered accountants who have done works for the likes of Mr. Uh, the late Mr. Kalemang, uh, who who was a prominent lawyer in Botswana and around the area of Francistan. And she she informs me of 
of, 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 of her struggle along and you know how she was able to achieve all of this within a very short span of time particularly with, with no support life and actually sitting and doing the learning in her own house uh, you know and also supporting the daughter supporting the husband and actually uh, you know and she said to me the girl I was able to actually do this within a span of about two years so right now, please don't give up on me and think that, you know, I'm, I won't be able to learn Sotana in a period of one year. And I said, yeah, well, one year is a bit too long. We will give you the best of what we can. And, you know, what I liked about, the, the, you know, this chat that I had with this lady is because, uh, you know, she actually w was was aligning herself to what I wanted or what, what it is that I, I, I see as, 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 as what actually gives you results as an individual, particularly if you have set a goal for yourself. So, you know, sometimes, you know, we all have individual goals, but what is very important is to make sure that as we set these goals or, or as we take our mind into a position of wanting something, our mind should always be positive. This means that if you put your mind in a, in a state uh, that is positive, what ultimately comes is positive result. It is not a matter of luck. It is not a matter of, 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 of success having waited all that time to actually come. It's a matter of actually knowing that when you initiate, initially start something, you have the positive mindset to know that you're going to get a positive result, right? So uh, for, for this morning, uh, for those that are, are, are very much interested to share this video, it, it is to know that what is important is, is, is to position yourself early in the morning uh, to shape your mind into coming into a position of what I've defined as a positive mindset. And this, this goes again to, to those students who, who didn't do so well in the JCE results and the other results or any other university results. I like to say to you, well, uh, failure is never the end of the world. It is just a, a delay or a matter of life that, that, that is delayed. And your life is not carved uh, as around a certain uh, weakness that you, have, you, have, you, have, you happen to have had, which is happening once. You know, there are other people that have made it in life uh, by failing uh, 10 or more times. So you, for you, you know, don't, don't roll dead once you have actually experienced uh, failure for the first time. What is important is for you to work towards success. And success will ultimately come if you put your mindset in the right place. And you're being in the right place meaning telling your mind that I'm going to do this and I can do it. And this is, this is what drives really our method here in One Enterprise as being a learning center that most of what we do really, there's no magic behind it. We incorporate a lot of psychological change uh, towards students that are seen as students that are failed students or students that are ultimately will not do well. We actually try to position these students to actually have a positive mindset. And the positive mindset is also given to the parent. We actually like to have what we call parental education. For us, parental education uh, simply means that we educate the parent to actually make sure that they're in the right mindset to support the child. And the child will ultimately uh, push themselves to a point where they want to see themselves leveraging uh, among the others and actually being uh, able to confidently say to, to others, well, I'm getting a C, I'm getting a B, I'm getting an A, I'm getting an A+. Plus. So these are things that we've seen and together with our technologies here and our softwares that we have, we hope that, you know, uh, this can actually take our 21st century model into the schools, into the community, into, you know, different platforms where people can literally appreciate what we are trying to share. Now, uh, obviously, we, we will not achieve this without your support. And this is why we keep continuing trying to share as many videos as you can, as much information as we can. Now, uh, I just want to thank you once again and say to you that, you know, One Enterprises is, uh, is meant uh, to actually support the child, uh, the child, the adult, and the community uh, that is within Africa. And obviously, to expand globally. And we would, would really, really love to see more support from you would love for you to ask us to kind of help out in your community to come and set up in our community a conference or a seminar so that we can educate uh, people about what we do. And also if you think that you would like to kind of volunteer community service with us to see what we do, you're most certainly welcome if you're based in France or town. We will be able to work together with you on this project and you learn as much as you can. Now guys, I want to thank you and say have a very beautiful day. And One Enterprises is there for you to follow it on, on Facebook. 
Uh, without doubt that I do know that you will be able to see a lot of results as you do this. Now, thank you very much.